Welcome to Auto 7. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Happy watching. The Nissan Armada undergoes significant changes for 2025, but remains committed to its mission as a full-size SUV offering significant capability for hauling passengers and cargo. Now powered by a twin-turbo V6 engine, as opposed to the old model's V8, the Armada also claims impressive towing capacity and can even venture off-road if you opt for the available four-wheel drive system. Rear-wheel drive is standard. Plus, the new Turbo V6 claims more power and torque than the V8 did, in case you're worried about a lack of grunt. A wide range of models is available, from the more budget-friendly SV and SL trims up to the off-road-oriented Pro 4X and the loaded Platinum Reserve that gives the Armada's Infiniti QX80 sibling a run for the money in the luxury department. The Armada is totally redesigned for 2025. It now shares even more commonalities with the global market Nissan Patrol and the Pro 4X and Platinum Reserve trims are new additions to the lineup. The price of the 2025 Nissan Armada is expected to start around $60.000 and go up to $72.000 depending on the trim and options. We don't have pricing yet, but we think the SL will be the best value based on what Nissan has told us about the Armada's trim levels and available features. It comes with a premium audio system, heated front seats and steering wheel, power folding third row seats, and a power lift gate. The big change under the Armada's hood is that the old model's V8 swaps out in favor of a new twin turbocharged 3.5 liter V6. But the new V6 beats the V8 in both horsepower and torque, producing 425 horsepower and 516 pound feet of torque, increases of 25 horsepower and 103 pound feet. It uses a 9 speed automatic transmission with either rear or four wheel drive. Nissan has added several new optional features to improve the Armada's driving experience and off-road capability, including an available height-adjustable air suspension and a locking rear differential in four-wheel drive models. We haven't yet gotten a chance to drive the new Armada, but when we do, we'll update this section with driving impressions. We have yet to test the Armada, but we expect it will be quicker than the old model, which got to 60 miles per hour in 5.9 seconds. Nissan claims that the Armada will have a maximum towing capacity of 8,500 pounds. That's 500 more than the outgoing Armada. The new twin-turbo V6 should provide slightly better fuel economy than the V8, which was EPA-rated at up to 16 miles per gallon combined. The EPA hasn't yet rated the 2025 Armada, but the related 2025 Infiniti QX80, which has the same engine, is rated at up to 18 miles per gallon combined. When we get the chance to test the Armada on our 75 miles per hour real-world highway fuel economy test, we'll update this section with results. The Armada's three-row interior provides plenty of space for passengers and cargo. It seats either seven or eight passengers, depending on whether you choose the second-row bench or the optional captain's chairs. Nissan claims more cargo space than before, and the third-row seats fold automatically at the touch of a button in the higher trim levels. The Platinum Reserve trim offers particularly nice materials such as quilted leather, giving the Armada a legitimate luxury SUV vibe. All trim levels come standard with two 12.3-inch screens that stretch across the dashboard. The left screen is a digital gauge cluster, while the right screen is a touchscreen infotainment system. Higher trim levels have an even larger 14.3-inch touchscreen. Google built-in apps are optional. Wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto smartphone mirroring functions are standard. A 12-speaker Klipsch stereo system comes on SL, Pro 4X, and Platinum trims. Every Armada has a suite of standard driver assistance features called Safety Shield 360. The tech bundle includes blind spot monitoring, pedestrian detection, automated emergency braking, lane departure warning, and more. A hands-free driving assistant called Pro Pilot Assist 2.1 is available as an option. For more information about the Armada's crash test results, visit the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. The Armada's warranty coverages are average for the industry. Nissan also doesn't offer any complimentary scheduled maintenance, unlike the Chevrolet Tahoe and the GMC Yukon. Thank you for watching Auto 7. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next video.